So featherweight is the division. Aldabani with the red tags. Medina with the blue. We know that Aldabani has performed most on the Phoenix promotions than any other fighter. We know what he brings to this. But what do we know about Jesse Funky Cold Medina? Well, be an interesting outing for all concerned. Since they will, Vanders, alongside of the Octagon with me is MMA legend Brad Pitt. Kit. I got you, carried away there. Yeah. I said Brad Pitt. No, I'm as good you looking remind me of Brad Pitt. I'm as what good can looking. I say? I'm as good looking as <laughs> Mr. Brad Pickett, who thought twice before he hit me after that remark. <laughs> it was a compliment. Oh, well, this is all going out of Barney's way from the beginning, isn't it? Yeah, just a little bit, maybe. You know, take some time to get into this fight, but you've got to be careful. You don't want to give someone like a is in Aldebaran too much room to uh, showcase his skills. Well, that was a big, big shot. If that had landed, something would have happened. But there's the shoot, and look at that, brilliantly taken down. Hooked his leg in as well, and Aldebaran hits the mat. And I get a feeling that this is where Medina wants to be. Yeah, I think so. Obviously, with that heat that was thrown by. Uh, is it now Dubani? It completely gave Jesse like uh, instincts to take him down to the mat. But he's got to be careful here. He's getting himself in a bit of a kamoi. Is it he can maybe use this as a kamoi sweep? But he just tried it for one moment. But it was good, ba a good base here by by Jesse. Oh, look at that. He's getting tired. He, Jesse doing the right thing, stepping over, trying to. But that's getting out. It could be reversed here. Al Dubani now. Using the legs to hold, but uh, that's hooked in from uh, Medina, and he's in a spot of bother, isn't he? If Aldabani can get that arm yeah. locked in, yeah, he's in a bit of a tricky uh, situation here. Jesse, he's got to be careful here, but he, obviously he's using that as a sweep that he does. He's got to be it's really hard to finish it from uh, obviously half guard where he is. He would need to step over the head, which now he's lost that grip anyway. That's the thing with Jesse, he took it to the mat, then he was in straight in danger. That's what Isidine does, you know. He's dangerous on his feet, you take him down, you can't, you can't sleep down there, and because he'll put you straight into the submission. Well, that was great escapology from Jesse Medina. Gets his way back into the upright, but he wanted an advantage on the ground, and he's trying to go again. But the strength of Aldabani, look at that right hand locking in behind the left hand of uh, Jesse Medina. It's 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 a tough gig in there, isn't it? He's doing a very good job, uh, job here, is it, Dean, by controlling the head, pushing the head away, not letting Je Jesse to lose his, lose his head to get in closer for a takedown. Jesse doing a good job getting his legs in between to try and maybe secure some kind of ankle pick. It's hard to do that ankle pick here because you see all of Izzedine's Elzebani's weight is on that one leg. So up against the cage now, and Aldabani really trapped that uh, left hand of Medina. But Medina levels it out, back to the upright, and straight away Aldabani back to work. Throws heavy hands. Medina goes for the shoot, doesn't really. Yeah, he himself I, I anywhere, think, does he? I think El Debine was a little bit more, uh, you know, aware of the takedown attempt there after the first one he got caught with. He went in front a bit more heat, but he's definitely prepared to, uh, for Jesse to take a shot. Nice hammer fist coming back up there from El Debani, and he's really looking for places to hurt. You can see the machinery working. Uh, Medina, well, desperate to try and get this down to the mat. I mean, it's almost as if he's shown all his cards. If it goes, you get the feeling that Medina is kind of busy down there, but Aldavani, well, has a few rabbits in the hat, doesn't he? Yeah, he's doing a good job here defending against the cage, but he's controlling uh, Jesse's head, like I said, in the first attempt as well. Doing very well, recognising uh, recognizing that and defending. But at the moment, he's just defending here, so he needs to try and turn it and get away. He's trying to create a bit of space, maybe to create an el get an elbow here. Like I just said there, he's doing the right thing here. He's trying to damage him. Aldabani does a very good job of locking that left arm in, doesn't he? And it really does cause problems for Jesse Medina. Down it goes to the mat, uh, controlled very nicely by Durbani. Yeah, it was, it was good hustling there by, by Jesse Medina, you know, to get get, get uh, Durbani down to the mat. But like I say, you've got to be very careful here. You know, posturing up here, you know, trying to maybe get some ground and pounding. But with doing so, you've got to be careful 
is being thrown up an arm bar or, or, or a triangle attack. But he's doing a good job because he's got his feet against, pressed up against the cage. And he's keeping the legs up nice and high to Barney. He's not allowing Medina to push forward to cause any problems. And he's locked his man down, holding him down. And that's the bell after the 10 second clapper. Yeah, very um, interesting first round there, Will. We can see what cards are on the table as far as Medina is concerned. And just in the replay there, we see what Aldabani had. Yeah, he obviously that was the big overhand right, which uh, forced uh, Jesse to try and get this fight to the mat. With doing so, then he got caught with Kamora, used that as for a good sweep by Albert Dabani. Uh, and then within seconds after, he got back to the feet again. And then the, uh, a lot of this round was actually pressed up against the cage, which is he was defending very well, but he was defending a little bit. You know, he was using, you saw him using those chopping little elbows. It wasn't like powerful elbows. They're, they're those little chopping shots could create a cut, which obviously getting a, getting a cut early on in the fight could pay dividends towards the end, the end of the fight. Well, we've gone from the sublime to the ridiculous, haven't we? We're in our fifth bout, and uh, none of those <laughs> fights that have preceded this seemed as if they were going to go to the ground. And now, look, we're living right on the mat in every second of that first round. It looks like it might go that way for the whole three rounds of this bout, but let's see what happens. Just to remind you, of course, that our referee is Mr. Elmin Androsis. Round two of a scheduled three. Straight away, Aldabani throws out a low kick. Aldabani definitely, in my eyes, has a button on the The power is there. Jesse, obviously, Jesse may be looking for a takedown any minute. Just got to try and time is the game coming in. There you go, he tried to time the company, got to keep driving to the cage, which he's doing so. He's indeed doing a good job cross-facing and making this very uncomfortable for Jesse. Hanging on to that single leg, isn't he? Driving forward, but uh, can he get Aldabani down? Needs to hook behind him and take that standing right leg down. But Aldabani, busy, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing a good job of defending, pushing the head, pushing the head down. Jesse switches for an ankle pick. Good balance by Aldabani. Making him pay for this shot, definitely making him work hard. Maybe, maybe get a chance to get around to the back here as well. Good elbows. Jesse working really, really hard. If he doesn't get this takedown, obviously, Izzedine, you know, basically, you know, no, he's looking out to take his back. Well, Medina has given up his back now, and Aldabani starting to come into his own here. He's got kind of like a crucifix position from the top position. Now he's got his neck. Good, good pressure on his neck. Let's go. Oh, he's done a good job of getting to the mat. But he's got to be careful with his neck because obviously Isidin has a good grip on his neck. Only got one hand at the moment and he's in half guard. But he's going to maybe use this to get back to his feet or maybe create a little bit more space. Medina uses his power, lifted Aldabani up and slammed him down. Went down to the mat and up against the wire. But that guillotine's still on. Ah, he's released it now. But uh, I have to say, Medina's in a world of pain there, isn't he? He was, but he's doing a good job. He, you know, he's toughing these sort of exchanges out and grinding, 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 and, and being persistent to get his takedown. And he's getting his takedown, he's getting success. He got one in the first round, he's got his one in the second round. So he's, he's, I think Jesse sees where his strengths lay, uh, lie, and uh, he's going to, you know, he's going to it. Uh, Aldabani wants to make a statement with this bout. He said he wants to go for a decisive finish. He was very confident at the weigh-in. He went knuckles high, right up in his opponent's face, like uh, Conor McGregor style. Really confident coming to this. But uh, as you say, this is turning out to be a grinding, attritional outing for Aldabani. Because um, this man now getting in his stride, Jesse Medina. But uh, Aldabani also grinding his man down. It's a bit of a peculiar position, is it in Aldabani doing good, good risk control here? Could maybe try and turn this into something. Obviously, Jesse, Jesse recognizes that and try and turns inside. He's guard, but not quite guard. His butterflies now. Is it in, should maybe use this to try and elevate Jesse? Still trying to be held down, isn't he? But he's trying to pass guard desperately. Single leg there in that half guard. But is that enough for Medina to get some? Power shots in. Yeah, is it not? Is it being obviously say he's doing the more threatening stuff on the floor, but he's given up position and he's been on his back most of this round. Using the cage maybe to get a reversal here. You can see him push off. He does, but gives up his back. He's got to be careful here, not getting flat out. 
Well, Jesse... Medina has the hand round there, isn't he? He's looking to try and finish this. Aldebarni wriggles out. Yeah, he uh, recognised that worked very well. Makes him turn this round and get on top. Got to be careful of the triangle here. He recognises it. He's controlling that, controlling that foot. Do a good job. Now, let's see is it in. He needs to get a bit of ground to pound on top. Last minute of this round. This could be, you know, finish this round strong. Could sw sway the judges. Because he was losing the first part of this round. Pulls him back to his feet. I think that's a little bit of a mistake. He maybe should have stayed on top and got a good bit of work. Well, Dabani now wants to bring it upright and power through. And uh, that was a lot of effort there from Medina. But out of the two of them, Aldabani looks like the one who's expended the most energy. Looking just a little bit breathy and raggedy here. And Medina, well, not lemon fresh, but he looks like he could go the distance. Spinning back fist landed by Aldabani. Beautiful shot there. Throwing something into the mix, making it a little bit spicy. Aldabani looking, working, searching. That was an uppercut that if he'd landed would have been meaningful. But there's the double leg take and there's the power. But he lands on his head. Yeah, it's a great takedown, and then he's keep pushing forward, like I said, to get Izzedine's flat, which he does. Izzedine really has accepted that. I would like to see Izzedine burst back to his feet where there's a little bit of a um, bit of space. You know, obviously, when you get taken down, sometimes there's a lot of room to start off with, and you can get bounced back up. But he kind of seems to accept it, which oh, I think is a bad mistake. Well, there's the 10-second clapper. Not enough room left in this round to make anything count. There's the bell, and it got fruity when we got to the end of that round. Didn't yeah. we, Brad? I mean, that's a good round by Jesse Medina on that one, you know. Um, I feel that Jesse will come away with that fight with just with his takedowns, you know. Uh, is Dean threatened a few times with some good submissions, but obviously nothing happened here. And you saw this, it was a good attempt here for the Rene Kicho. You saw him try and pull his uh, um, nose up to try and get, get underneath the chin. But Izzedine was aware of it, managed to turn inside his guard. I would like to see him do a little bit more work, maybe a bit of ground and pound for this position. He got back to his feet, as you saw here, and actually did some good clean work on his feet. But then he got taken down right at the end of the round as well. Well, Jesse Medina has come alive in this, hasn't he? He started off very slow. He started off very tentative, almost as if he didn't have a game plan. He allowed Izzedine Aldabani to impose himself in the first half of the first round, but he's gradually, gradually got more traction, and he's very much in this, and there's everything to play for in this, what is now the third and final round in this featherweight matchup. Izzedine Aldabani from Jordan, crowd favourite here tonight at Phoenix Six. Jesse Medina from the Philippines, fights out of Australia. Third and final round. High kick, beautifully delivered. Reverse spinning kick, again beautifully delivered. Millimetrically missing. Big right hand, again beautifully delivered, but missing. Aldabani, if he can make these shots land, they've got hench on them. I do feel that Izzedin has the, the ability to, to stop this fight with one shot. Good low kick there, crippled Medina, sending him to the canvas. Aldabani realised that, didn't he? And now he's starting to rely on some of those bigger shots. Medina slightly slow on the uptake. If Aldabani can just pick up the pace and land the shots, which he does lovely with that right hand first punch. Again, the right hand goes in, up goes the high kick. Aldabani could finish this with strikes. Big shots now. Medina goes down for the shoot, but he doesn't do it. And he's being held there. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah again, it's like, is the Dean getting a little bit over aggressive and, not, not, and giving up a, not so much the takedown as such, but letting Jesse get in on the inside. Now we're back to this, yet yeah, again, this position we've been through the fight where Izzedine now is defending the takedown, but when you're defending, you're not attacking or winning. He's doing a good job of defending this, maybe going for, he's got good risk control here. But yet again, like I say, he's just defending at the moment. He needs and you to know, break away. Brad, it's all the nuances, isn't it? Like that foot coming round the calf of Medina to stop him coming through. Just little slight things that you don't see that you think, how are these guys controlling the other parts of the limbs? But look, none of that matters now. Aldabani starting to power in. Tries to pull his man round there. Open him up. Yeah, he done a good job making Jesse pay for that takedown. Getting some good elbows in. But now, like I say, he needs to break away and get back to get back to the feet. There he does. Now he needs to be a bit more aggressive here and throw a few more shots. And try and land. Maybe not start with the powerful one. Maybe double jab, then right hand. Pick his shots and make sure they land. Medina looks like he's a bit battle weary now, a little bit worse for wear. Oh, and that was a super move. Aldabani walked straight into that. Yeah, Aldabani went for a spinning back fist as 
Jesse went for a takedown. Bit of a funky, uh, funky position that uh, happened there, but yeah, I'd like to see Izzardy now just be a bit more crafty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call his man back to his feet. Jesse, like I say, definitely does a little bit more weathered going into this third round. We're exactly halfway through the third and final round. Aldabani brings up an axe kick. Medina right. looks like he could make the distance here, but he's taken shots, and that left lead leg is a worry because when Aldabani makes contact, you see him wobble. Yeah, I think Aldabani's got to be aggressive going forward, which he is doing now, but then be aware of Jesse's shot and maybe come up with, with a knee or an uppercut out there. That would have been a great timing for a knee. But Jesse get a, giving up his neck here. He's got a good little perch of it, he's aware of it. He's going to be struggling now to finish that, but you know, is it in Aldabani? Good, doing a good job surfing around his opponent. Starts to fire in the shots now. You get the feeling that Medina might be hitting a little bit of rough tide here. Dabani powering forward, referee looking very closely. Dabani trying to get the shots in, maybe trying to move him around for a submission position. Crowd here right behind Dabani. As I said, he's a crowd pleaser here, the Jordanian. Can he finish? He's finished this uh, round very, very well. Obviously, with Jesse taking the fight on the short nose, you, you, all, 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 you're already going to know that the cardio could have been a question with this. And he does look very weathered, especially, but not only that, it's a good job by Izzardin making him work really hard for these takedowns. He's helped him with this position where I see that Jesse now is, you know, running out of steam and ideas. And that's a deadly cocktail, isn't it? <laughs> when you're in the octagon. I mean, uh, Aldabani knows he's done enough. He's still working, but there doesn't seem to be an urgency about his work, but there doesn't seem to be an urgency from Medina either, does there? He doesn't look like a man that's going to get up and cause an upset here. And I mean, he's hanging on, but uh, he looks like he's hanging on for grim life. So Aldabani on top here, being locked down by Medina, but we're seeing nothing meaningful from the fighter from the Philippines. Aldabani, I think, uh, probably found this a lot tougher than originally thought, because he wanted to make an impact and have a quick finish, decisive finish. And I don't think the clock will allow him. We've got just 20 seconds left, and uh, closing the guard behind him and hugging him down, locking things down tight. Jesse Medina not allowing Dabani to work, and the clock is against Dabani as well as Medina in terms of a strong and decisive finish here. There's the 10 second clapper. Yeah, very good uh, contest here. I'll, I'll, I'll give it two rounds to one in uh, is it Dean Albert Dabani's favour. But I like say, I'm no judge. I'm here just commentating the action. <laughs> but we value and hinge on every word you say, Brad. I think it's probably a unanimous decision for Del Aldabani, but I may be wrong. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but definitely a, an Aldabani win. And then um, I think it was... The first round was a, clo was, a clo was a close round. You know, I gave it to Izzedin, but you, you could, some people could argue for Jesse. The second round, I definitely gave to Jesse, and the third round, definitely gave to uh, um, Izzedin Aldabani. So, it's, for me, it was two clear-cut rounds, round two and three. It's how you scored that first round. Like I say, I'm no judge. It was a very close one, but, yeah, as I say, Izzedin definitely out there enjoying himself. So, just in the replay here, you can see the final strikes in the closing bout, uh, round of the bout. But back for the announcement. Medina sort of came to this without a very good strategy, didn't he? Yeah, it was a later placement, so he didn't have a lot of time to obviously game plan for this fight. Anyway, we'll get the announcement right now. The judges taking their time getting the uh, scorecards up. We know what the result will be, but it's the margin that we're trying to decide by. Normally an indication that it's much closer than we think it is, but... Uh, like I said, I, I think it was a very close fight. It's how you gave that first round. We could see a split decision. Yeah. Well, Aldebaran has done it. It was a split decision, Brad. You were right. Yeah, it was very close. Like I said, it's like how you scored that first round. Two judges must have given that first round to Izzedine. One judge gave that first round to uh, Jesse.